And start by saying good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for, for coming um, and, and Crystal and, and all of you for just organizing this informational session. My name is Eric Hoffman. I'm the president of the Village Neighborhood Association. We are just here uh, as in typical VNA fashion to you know inform the community. Um, and this is a perfect example of that. So we we appreciate you as the project team, you know, reaching out and setting up uh, these these meetings. The cadence was initially set as every two weeks. We're going to do it weekly for call it the first month uh, once construction begins. Um, for any updates, you know, sometimes these might only last ten or fifteen minutes uh, if if there's not much going on, there's not much to report, but. Um, Again, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for allowing us to record the meeting so we can post it on our YouTube channel. So anyone that can't be here, uh, which, as I mentioned uh, prior to some of you coming on, includes myself tonight. I'm going to turn this over to Crystal and go back to a MS4 orientation that I'm attending. But um, without any further ado there, I want to say uh, thank you again. Welcome and uh, take it away, please. The floor is yours. Thank you, Eric. Um, hi, um, my name is Crystal. I am Councilman Solomon's Chief of Staff. Um, I am working with the JCMUA and their contract on uh, alerting residents of the upcoming infrastructure work on 1st and 2nd Street. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via email or phone number. Um, at, if, if you don't have it, Eric, um, Eric has it. Uh, he is more than welcome to give out my information. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Tom, who is, oh, first I'll turn it over to Rich, who is the, from the JCMUA, the chief engineer, the chief engineer there. Uh, Rich? Thanks, Crystal. Uh, thank you, everybody, for attending. Um, and I, I, I see that Maud uh, is on, and she was one of the uh, emails that we received. Um, and again, I'm just going to give you a little background history. Uh, Jersey City was issued a, uh, entered into a consent decree back in 2008, and one of the issues, uh, one, one of the major components of the consent decree was uh, this, the MUA was, is being forced to replace aging water mains and sewer mains throughout the city. Um, in order to do this, obviously, we can't shut the entire city down, so we do it in phase work. Uh, phases, uh, there's about uh, 15 to 20 phases as they're all broken up into different areas of the city. So, so uh, certain parts of the city could, could uh, motors could navigate, uh, you know, to where they have to go. Um, I don't know if everybody or Crystal's aware of it. And, you know, uh, first and second, I mean, second street was one of the streets, York Street, Wayne Street. Uh, we we're replacing large uh, diameter sewers and we we're replacing the water. So, um, you know, if anybody wants to see the type of construction that's going to occur in front of their house, you're more than welcome to, to observe that. Uh, first and second street <clears throat> between Mercedes and Brunswick. Uh, we have started a project uh, probably over a year ago, however, due to uh, the DEP and other permits that were held up on the state level, we had to uh, cancel the project, go out to bid, and Underground, who has been a uh, contract that the MUA has used in the past to do not only upgrades to the water and sewer main, but also has uh, performed emergency repairs on water and sewers. Um, you know, and again, uh, Jersey City being a very old city, being a combined sewer, uh, we have a lot of failures that occur uh, during the course of the year, e either being water main or actual sewer main. Um, you know, again, uh, this is almost like a controlled chaos where, you know, we can control it. However, you know, when we have an emergency water main break or sewer main break, that is chaos that we cannot control. And, uh, you know, I try to explain to people, as I put in my email to, to, to Maud, is that, you know, we could, we could control the work that's being done out there. When we have an emergency, uh, people, houses get flooded, people are without water, without, without notice. 
you know, when people's, when residents' homes get flooded with sewage, not only, you know, the, the, the house is impacted with sewage, we got to worry about pathogens that start, you know, growing into the sewage. People lose furniture, uh, personal belongings. It's a much more, um, it, it hits the area much harder when when we have these unexpected breaks. And we had last year on Christmas Eve, we had a, a water main break on Marcelli's in which, you know, on, right before the holiday, uh, not only the residents were affected without water, but the, the workers who had to fix the water main had to leave their families. Um, you know, we, we know that the work is going to be um, a hindrance to the people, but we look at it this way. It's, it's an inconvenience for a couple months, but the improvements to the, to the infrastructure is long lasting. So once we finish the water main sewer main and we pave your street, you will not see us for another hundred years. Um, yeah, true. You know, Tom, Tom, you know, underground, along with Tom, uh, they are very responsive to to our needs that, you know, residents call us about dust. Uh, residents call us about, you know, um, whatever. If there's a problem, I can always count on Tom to address it in a timely fashion. So one good thing I have to say about, you know, the first and second street improvements is we got a very, very good contractor. And, um, you know, I'm going to let Tom explain uh, because some of the questions that were asked was where we're going to start. Um, I, we also have Brian Shields from Mod, who's the design engineer. Um, we all work together. We try to do the best thing for the city. And again, like I said, there are going to be inconveniences. There's going to be the parking inconvenience. There's going to be the noise. There's going to be, but, you know, you, you help us get through this. We, we're also, you know, we'll be a team on it and we'll get through it together. So, I mean, basically, and, 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 and Crystal is a very, 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 very vital part in making sure that we, we, we communicate with the, um, with the community. So again, Crystal, many, many thanks for all your help with first, uh, for second street, Wayne, York and everything you do. So, um, that's about it. Uh, Tom, go ahead. Hi, how are, how are you? Hi, everybody. Tom Corcoran, Underground Utilities. Um, just a little, I guess, uh, to preface the project. Currently, we've obviously uh, went around and uh, we have various different utility interferences and various different unforeseen conditions that we have to obviously mobilize and test pit primarily uh, to be able to ascertain uh, the locations uh, of, for placement of the new water main and uh, the new utilities uh, that are going to be implemented in the project. Uh, once we perform these test pits, uh, you know, and give this uh, information to the engineer uh, from Hatchmont McDonald, um, we can better ascertain uh, the location that we're going to be placing structures, water mains, uh, there's existing gas in the way. Uh, there's existing utilities in the way that obviously uh, need to be, uh, uh, you know, either uh, information gathered uh, to enable the contractor to effectively prosecute the work. Uh, and so at uh, at the onset of the project, we'll be uh, performing these test pits, uh, providing that information to Hatchmont McDonald. Uh, upon conclusion of that, Hatchmont McDonald will assess the information as provided by the contractor, and he can make a determination uh, on, uh, you know, what and where or means, uh, not means and methods, but the engineering side and, and where to obviously uh, uh, put the uh, domains in and the placement of uh, proposed construction. Uh, so currently, uh, we anticipate getting out there hopefully in the next few weeks, uh, as we discussed uh, the last time on the project. Uh, that is also contingent upon obviously answering your questions and mitigating any, you know, potential impacts with respect to the community. Uh, once that's uh, done, Underground uh, has a valid mark out in place. Uh, we have the traffic permits in place and uh, we'll be able to go out there and perform test pits. Once those test pits are gone, are done, you're going to have a little break in the action. 
we have materials that we have to get right. And uh, we have some, uh, you, you know, logistical issues that we have to take care of with uh, Brian Shields and Mont McDonald. Um, once we order the materials and get the material expedited to the site, uh, it'll be a continuous process from, I would say, a couple of weeks after the test pits uh, to the end of the project. And that's all I have is the contract. I hope, um, you, you know, I did my due diligence with respect to uh, any questions and concerns. Appreciate that, Tom. I'm just going to jump in here. Crystal, I'm a little nervous about passing the meeting over and having the recording not work. So I'm going to mute and I'm going to go off screen and just leave this baby running. Okay. Okay, no problem. <laughs> The big red end button makes me nervous. Um, even though I can pass, I can pass it over to you. I just, I don't know what happens with the recording. So, th thank you all for your time. I look forward to watching the rest of this, and uh, really appreciate your involvement. Thank you, Tom. So, you touch base on, and again, explain to the residents, so I can do it. How again, the water main is either on the the left side of the street or the right side, along parallel to the curb line. So, when you do your water main. Um, you, you know, you you install the, the water main, you drop back, you do the services, you give a little, you know, how the sewer is deeper, give them a little explanation how, how the job is going to go. You're going to first install the water main. Yes, we, we obviously, yeah, we, we install normally the deepest cut first, which is your sewer. You know, once we get sewer in and we put the deep in, uh, run 